How you doing? I'm Matt. I'm the general manager of Nando's in Princess Key. So I'm here to look after the boys today. Whilst they're doing a great job during Hull and Proud Week. It's been brilliant, you know, it's been really good for the lads to get down here. We've obviously been well fed. And Nando's is the go-to place for any rugby league player, so uh, it's been great. And obviously the amount of fans that have come down um, to sort of obviously enjoy the Nando's and chat to a few of the boys and experience some bad till skills from myself. And it's really good and I suppose that's what the, the week's been all been about, isn't it? As us as a players and a club interacting with the fans. Curtis, he's doing a great job in Barca, he's been out there entertaining the fans, he's stuck his head off a few times, he's been a bit warm but I don't blame him, so yeah I think we might have him back as well. It's my dream to become a chicken because a long time ago when I left school uh, I did actually apply to be, uh, be a Nan <laughs> work at Nando so I guess it's my dream job of being a chicken so yeah. Mark Minicello is excelling in the kitchen back there. He's, he's got a sweat on and he's telling people what to do. Even the people that work, he's got the people even that work here running after him. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's got it under control back there. Listen, you and me right, that's the last corn. A couple of chickens on the, uh, on the grill here. Corn, corn side, a couple of uh, chicken breasts. It's hot behind here, I tell you. <laughs> It was alright to start with, but when the orders come flooding in, it gets a bit uh, a bit hot, hot under the collar. <laughs> but uh, I'm doing alright. Danny, pick it up mate, you're under the pump! <laughs> yes, mate, we're really busy here. Mate, I can't carry on because it's really hard work this spot. <laughs> what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put some salt on the chips and basically that's it. See this, this is like Chinese, so... Take some, take some reading and understanding. So, basically, you've got to put the rice, chips, if, if they want salt, and you've got to bang the salt on, and then see here that he delivers it. We've got the, the, three sl the three slackest members of the squad at the minute on service. Jamie Shaw never found a pass. My here for nowhere. Overweight. See Commando. See Commando adding. <laughs> I was on the door, making sure people are seated and uh, up here, make sure they've got the menus and they know what they're doing, so easy job. I actually have offered him a little bit of uh, weekend work if he fancies it, so he's doing a good job as he goes as he passes. <laughs> I got to grips with it in the end, but um, I had a, a taskmaster behind there, he was very uh, critical of my um, my time on the till, but I, got the, I think I got the hang of it in the end. Personally, I've been on the, uh, on the tills helping out and um, helping serving and clearing the tables and yeah it was enjoyable, something different. It's been absolutely amazing, there's such a good help, honestly, I would employ these guys any day of the week as servers, yeah. Yeah, to be honest it's pretty hard work, um, being on your feet, you know, for the last three, four hours, so, um, you know, um, it goes to show um, how, how hard these people work and, um, you know, a good look into what they do for their job. The guys haven't messed up too much, which is good, they're doing some good food, having some good feedback and I look forward to hopefully keeping doing this again. Yeah, I'd love to get an annual event like this going forward, make it bigger and better each year. Hopefully make more money for charity and what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, it's good to get to interact with the players. It's nice to meet them all, uh, see what they think about like, the rugby. You know, you can ask them like, uh, a lot of questions. Uh, yeah, it's good. I think we should do more of it. I think it makes them more normal people than them just on the pitch. So and you feel appreciated as a fan that the club's trying to give you something back as well. It's really nice to um, to go back into the community and give a little bit back and seeing uh, seeing the kids in the schools and the young fans and obviously meeting the fans today and, and getting to know them a little bit. It's, uh, it's quite enjoyable, yeah. I've enjoyed this uh, this Holland Proud week. <laughs>